Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Curl of 365 here and it is that time again where you get to hear my beautiful voice yet again as I give my thoughts on this week's episode of Robot Wars and I have to say yet again it hit it out of the park. A brilliant episode all in all. Um, I had a little bit of a, you know, bit of a betting sesh with my uh, good friend uh, T.Y. Marshall. Um, because we were discussing who's going to win and who's going to uh, go through. But um, before all that, uh, before we get to the fights themselves, I just want to say, um, in last week's uh, video, uh, a lot of people have been mentioning that um, there is too much talking yet again in Robot Wars. And I have to agree. Less talk, more fight. For fuck's sake, get it right. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, also, uh, before I do get to the fights, Finally, Sir Killot has finally done something. He has come back alive after two episodes of, you know, having opportunities present themselves and, you know, him missing those opportunities. He finally grabbed a robot and picked it up. I am so overjoyed right now. Anyway, let's uh, get to the first uh, group battle. Um, when I first heard that Overdose uh, was made out of wood, I thought, what the fuck are you guys thinking? Yeah, sure, wood, it's, you know, easy to cut and easy to make with, but in Robot Wars, it is absolutely a shit. I mean, previous robot tiers in Robot Wars have, you know, made robots out of wood to no success whatsoever. It, it just seems like a bad idea. I mean, we had the fire pit, we had the axes, you know, anything could have happened. It's a lucky thing that Sergeant Beth wasn't involved in this series, otherwise he would have had a fucking field day on uh, Overdozer. But in the end, all it took was 23 seconds and the first blow from King B remix, and, you know, that was it. I mean, not to mention as well, hello, petrol strimmer. Uh, not really a good idea when you're next to a fire pit. Luckily for them, they weren't set on fire, which was a bit of a disappointment because I wanted to see the wood, uh, the wood robot, you know, set alight. You know, it would have been a nice uh, early uh, Guy Fawkes night, but eh, you can't win them all. Uh, speaking of can't win them all, uh, Glitter Bomb. Um, I really like this team. You know, um, if you watch the like, you know, the kids news program News Round. Uh, I think that's still called News Round. I think I haven't seen it in years. Uh, but he interviewed the uh, the little girl. Um, I forgot what her name was now. But um, you know what she said at the end of that interview. Uh, you know, to ma uh, making big men cry. I thought that was you know cute and adorable and pretty funny. Uh, but unfortunately, the you know the tiniest bit of error um, on behalf of Glitter Bomb. Oh well, it was a mechanical fault, really. You know, um, they, they only could like get um, two blows out of the X, and that was it. And then once they were flipped, it was pretty much game over. So in all. Um, Glitter Bomb is a you know a good team. Although speaking of Glitter Bomb, that robot looks so familiar to me, like I've seen it before. Now, to all those old school Robot Wars fans, I ask you this question: Does Glitter Bomb look strangely familiar to a robot called Edgehog? Now, that's the robot that it looks familiar to me. So I could be wrong. It could be a completely different new robot. But if you do know if um, you know it's if Edgehog is Glitter Bomb or Glitter Bomb is a completely, you know, new robot uh, or an old that just coincidentally looks like Edgehog, then please let me know in the comments. Um, so like I said, uh, Glitter Bomb, a good robot. Uh, Overdoser, uh, you, you really should have thought things through. I mean, when you go enter a competition, which is basically, uh, you know, teams building robots to destroy each other, you could at least, you know, done something about, you know, the material that you could have used. Yeah, sure, you know, working with steel and, you know, titanium may take a little bit of time, but that's why you design your robots, like, early, not, like, you know, five weeks away or something like that. But anyway, um, so I initially picked uh, Danton, uh, Danton Kier and King B Remix to uh, win the group battle, which they did, which I'm happy about because, you know, the veterans, well... I say veterans, even though Danton Kier has a new team now, but um, 
you know, it's the same old word about, so either way, it was bound to win. I mean, we are talking about Dan Tonkir that uh, once upon a time did uh, flip Chaos 2 out of the arena and give it its own taste of uh, its own medicine. So, um, you know, I'm, I was kind of happy about the result of uh, the first group battle. Now on to the second group battle. Um, I really thought um, Supernova was going to uh, easily win this one. Um because, you know, I've seen Supernova before on, uh, on television and uh, when they first started in the old school Robot Wars, uh, they were powerful, but, uh, you know, they easily damaged themselves. So I thought maybe this time around, you know, after the 12 year hiatus or hiatus, uh, uh, whatever you want to say, but, um, I thought, you know, after 12 years, they made, finally made those improvements, which I, I think they did. Um, I think they were a little bit unlucky to come across a, a robot like uh, TR2 because uh, they did get a, a few shots in but it looked like the spinning weapon didn't do uh, the trick unfortunately. Um, TR2, uh, I really like uh, the look of this robot. I'm not too keen on the old um, axe slash flipper combination. Um, it, it, to me, uh, the way that they have the axe position along with the flipper, it's either one weapon is powerful but the other is just weak. So if I was uh, uh, them, I would just like stick to you know the, the flipper itself and you know don't, uh, don't bother with the axe um so overall um big nipper as well um in previous wars i i really wasn't a big fan of him i thought uh you know their claw weapon was a bit flimsy at times and uh you know it's you know it could easily get destroyed but uh like they said before, they had uh, interchangeable uh, weapons, so they had a choice of the the crushers or the um, uh, the spinning disc. And to be honest, I I think they should have uh, they should stay with the um, the uh, spinning disc for future series. I mean, if you watch their battle with King B Powerworks, you know it would it would just showcase you know the d complete destruction of um, uh, King B Powerworks. So overall. Um, I was a little bit disappointed at uh, Supernova and uh, oh, I completely forgot what the other contestant was. Oh, this is so embarrassing. But either way, uh, TR2 and Big Nipper uh, went through uh, to the league um, stage. And um, speaking of the league stage, uh, I know most of you are not big fans of the league uh, system itself. Uh, some of you are saying that um, because of this system and the fact that you know the robots will have to go back, uh, go back to the uh, repair area, get the robots fixed, and what the, the house robots can't do as much damage as uh, you know, um, as much as they want to, uh, which is kind of disappointing, really. I mean, um, if I do um, make a video on what should be changed and all that, I am going to definitely suggest that they get rid of the league system. So, um, but all in all, um, my favorite match. Ooh, I'm not too sure. I mean, the TR2 uh, matches uh, were pretty good. Um, although it's kind of hard to pick out which one was uh, pretty entertaining. Um, I know it's going to be a TR2 match, but I just can't pick of uh, which opponent was um, which was uh, you know good. Um, although I'm going to I'm going to say Dan Tom Kia. I think you know the Battle of the Flippers. You know it's a it, it, it was it was pretty much a case of uh, you know who gets the first flipping and then because for Dang Tom Kier, it was only a matter of time before they ran out of energy first so it was pretty much a losing battle once they got flipped over but um all in all, uh, most of the head-to-head -head f uh, fights were, you know, were pretty good. Um, the Dan Tom Kier versus uh, King B um, remix. Uh, I think that was the first time that we've seen, you know, a robot get officially flipped out of, uh, of the arena, technically, or into the trench, uh, whatever they like to call it. Uh, Matilda got uh, stuck in, as well as Dead Metal, and finally to kill lot, like I uh, mentioned earlier, but. No shunt this time, uh, which I thought was a little bit strange. So unless, you know, during the recording of that in particular episode, uh, shunt uh, had a bit of a, you know, a technical difficulties with his axe or something wrong with his, you know, drive system or whatever. So it was a little bit strange to not see shunt uh, throughout the entire episode. But um, either way, um, you know, like I said, it was a little bit strange not seeing shunt. A little bit disappointing. Probably... Too much drinking, as uh, Shunt would say. Uh, but either way, um, 
I'm glad that the house robots are now starting to come out of their shelves yet again and causing more damage. Uh, same with Dead Metal, Matilda and Sekillot. Uh, I'd like to see Sekillot do a little bit more damage but also speaking of which, um, would it be too much to ask if you know, if the robot were, if one of the robots was immobilized and, um, you know, the fight was done, maybe we can, like, see the house robot, like, grab the robot and then put it into the pit. I mean, I don't think that would cause too much damage. I mean, you know, just something for, you know, entertainment purposes, uh, I would say. But, um... In any, any of case, um, this episode um, yet again has its fair share of problems. Uh, uh, l like in previous episodes, there was too much talking and not enough fighting. Um, you know, same old intro uh, as well, uh, which is getting a little bit repetitive now. They should have, like, you know, compiled a clip of, you know, clips from the old uh, show and, you know, the new show and, like, put them together and, you know. Bring back the old Robot Wars film, which I'll, which I'll definitely want to see in the next uh, series if they do, which they should do, because this is pretty much is uh, B the BBC's golden, only golden, uh, golden goose now since Top Gear is pretty much dead. Uh, so yeah. Um, oh, now I would like to apologise as well because uh, I forgot to mention a few things um, last uh, in last week's episode, but uh, Angela Scowlin was spot on in my opinion um i think she did a, be a better job than uh, dara in my opinion i mean last week when she made a, a you know you know a comment about you know this is robot wars not robot wimps i thought she is a, sh a savage and you know she's going on to you know to great things while dara i don't know I, th I think he's a little bit too boring for robot wars and um, you know because don't get me wrong i like dara o'brien but I just don't, you know, I just don't think he fits the mold that Robot Wars needs to be. Um, you know, I kind of like seeing him, you know, doing, you know, Mock of the Week or, you know, a new series of, a, you know, IQ or something like that. But Robot Wars, uh, I don't know. I think if it were up to me, I would like get a new host. Um, I don't know who. I've had a couple of commenters saying who they would like to see as a new host. But for Angela, I think she's doing a pretty damn good job. Um, I think uh, she will be in safe, capable hands if they do, uh, you know, a new series. Because um, you know, I think she, you know, she's nailed the co-host spot, uh, spot on. Um, there's one other complaint that I would like to make personally, and this is just my opinion. Um, in part of the episode, they showed uh, Doctor Lucy uh, showcasing. Um, oh, what was it? Was it electronics or well, so, uh, something involving like you know a, a miniature skull, uh, sculpture of a electronic dinosaur? And oh yes, that is good for you know educational purpose. I just think that they could have you know you uh, saved that clip for like you know a, a robot war special or something. You know something that they can you know bring out on uh, BBC uh, iPlayer, um, just like they did with uh, Me the House Robot. So you know something that won't you know, be broadcasted because it's it's back to the old uh, complaint once again of you know m uh, you know too much talking and not enough fights so if they can like save the stuff like you know showcasing the teams and you know the dr lucy part and you know what the judges react uh, reactions after the fights for like uh, you know a, you know a one-off uh, robot wars uh, show on bbc iplayer that would be great and um so yeah that that was just my own, own, own only complaint really um I, I cannot wait to see the next episode. We're getting oh so close to the grand final now. Um, I'm pretty interested to see what you guys uh, think of the lineup so far. Um, I think it's a pretty good, uh, a pretty solid uh, grand final, uh, if I'm honest. I mean, they have uh, proven themselves to be worthy uh, grand finalists. Um, it's only... Uh, you know, a couple of a few weeks away before we see that grand final, and I'm pretty much looking forward to it. So, um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, you know, um, so Killot finally did a thing, which you know, even though it wasn't much, but he finally did something before getting stuck. And you know, from a guy that you know, like myself, is named Mr. Killot V65, and I consider Sir Killot as a robotic brother from another mother. I'm a little bit disappointed in Sir Killot. I mean, I did see, like, a Twitter picture way before, you know, any trailers uh, for the new show was um, uh, released, and um, it, it said on the picture, um, 
a bad day for us to kill lots driver and I thought I wonder what that could be and was like, I didn't think they would like um, I thought it was like a you know a bit of an outtake that they would never show on on robot balls, but as it turns out, um, that mistake was Killer getting this drill stuck to the wall. So yeah, probably definitely time to uh, think about redesigning the arena. You know, make it a little bit bigger. You know, for gauntlets, trials, and you know more hazards, more dangerous hazards. Um, and, you know, more space for the house robots. But, uh, in the end of the case, um, I guess that's it, uh, for this week's episode. Uh, just wanna, before I go, wanna say that, uh, congratulations to TR2. Uh, very, uh, great, uh, successful run. Um, uh, you know, I like the robot. Um, I, I really like, um, Alex's, uh, driving style as well. It kind of reminds me of, um, uh, Pussycat's uh, old driver. Um, I forgot what his name was now, and I feel kind of guilty now because uh, unfortunately he um, passed away in a motorcycle accident, which was you know a, a bit of a shock and a you know a bit of a downer. But um, his driving style kind of reminded me of uh, you know Pussy, uh, Pussycat's old uh, driver, who was uh, great for you know for a young man as himself. And it, it's a pretty much a terrible shame that you know he lost his life so early. Um, so sorry to end on a bit of a downer but uh, um, I guess that's it so um, like uh, like before uh, just uh, leave your thoughts and uh, opinions in the comments below I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can um, also follow me on social media um, also you know the obvious one subscribe to my youtube channel it really helps me out a lot uh, at the time of this recording i'm at 60 subs now so i'm now on the road to 100 subs so hopefully i will get the uh, probably not at the end of this year i, I pretty much made that mis uh, mistake before so uh, i'm not gonna set a time limit for to get to 100 subs so um you know uh if you want to share this video and you know share information that, uh well share my channel uh to anyone who's interested in you know video games or you know robot wars in general and uh you know, it will, it will really help me out a lot because I like making videos like this. So I like to entertain you guys. So like I said before, uh, share this video with all your friends and family, even your grandma if you want to. Um, check out my social media. You can find me moseying around Twitter or Facebook or even um, Tumblr. So um, uh, follow me there if you want to. All the links are in the description. And uh, don't forget to subscribe um, because it's really important and it doesn't cost a single penny and it's completely safe it won't kill you or anything it's not like once you like uh if you like visit the channel but you don't click the subscribe button it's not like a a huge uh, sword is gonna pop out from your laptop or computer screen and stab you in the face or anything like that so no dangers of that happening so i'm gonna stop talking now thank you for watching um and enjoy the rest of your week so long and good night